Okay, this is week six, ECA Sim Racing Summer Fun Series. We are at Alton Park. I think I can just leave it at, this is not on my faves list. Um, like most British tracks, um, I'm, I don't really enjoy this track very much. Uh, something about the rhythm and my driving style just does not uh, does not work well together. But we're going to give this a good old college try. I am second in the PCA Sport Series uh, points and uh, hope to hold on to at least that much uh, with a decent enough outcome to, uh, to carry on. I'm about uh, nine points ahead of the person behind me. I'm 10 points behind the person in front of me. So I just need to solidify that that holding and uh, and uh, do my best here. So uh, let's go ahead and see how we do. Let's race. All right, qualified pole by three one hundredths. That's weird. Got that bonus point anyway, regardless of anything else. So that's good. Not sure if this is a partial lap or a full lap. Feels like a partial lap, get based on where we are. 40 minutes. The track temp is 64 Fahrenheit. Stay behind the pace car in the right column. And yes, I am thinking about Zandvoort. Go! practice, David was faster than me by three tenths. He would have threw out a 124 flat. So I know he's got a lot of speed in that car. He's also really consistent. So we'll pounce on a mistake if I make one.
I think he's faster than me in T1. No, he's sizing me up. You're leading. Okay, Jip, don't be intimidated by this little shit. Make him work for it. Nice move. That's disappointing, but shit happens. Keep pushing. I didn't have to do that. Concentration, nice and smooth, V2. Damn it. He's so much cleaner and precise. to Palmer ahead is increasing. It's now 1.0 seconds. Yep, he's doing what I could not. Right there is a race car driver, boys and girls. Steady as she goes.
seven. Sector two time is good. So something that I do that I don't know if anybody else has noticed is when I have my clock up, it is looking for my session optimum, or looking at my session optimum. And the re reasons that I do that is that your optimum lap the is a combination of... ahead is increasing. It's now 1.2. It's a combination of all your best sectors into the kind of the penultimate ideal lap that you've driven. You put all the best sectors together. So figure if that lap lives out there, that's my perfect lap in the current session. And so that's the target lap that I try to set. I try to capture that. So that's what the the time gap at the top of the screen is actually showing is the gap from my optimal. And that optimal time is a 124.279. I guess. I don't know why I'm playing with my gears so much. Sector 2 is 0.6 off the pace. Mostly because I was talking, I think. But anyway, the optimal time, having that time clicker at the top of my screen messes with my head enough to make me faster. So Palmer in front is now 
gap to Palmer ahead is now 1.6. Okay, Chip, there's a car exit in the pits, heads up. Sector three time is fast. Fastest lap for Palmer, 124.47. That lap time was 125.20. Gap to Palmer ahead is now 2.1 seconds. Sector three times okay.
Okay, Jeff. Five minutes of fuel remaining. Five minutes. The actor Palmer in front is now 1.9. He's just so darn consistent. I feel like I'm in a Samuel Beckett play waiting for Godot here, trying to wait for him to make a mistake. I don't think it's gonna come. Chip, we'll fuel you to the end of the race. 20 minutes remaining, you've got 20 minutes left. 300 feet. We're halfway home, we think about three minutes of fuel remaining. 100 feet. Looks like you're clear on the pit exit. The leader, Palmer, is pitting. The gap behind is now 9.2 seconds. The car in front is pitting. leaving the pits. It'd be David. You're in the lead. Thanks, sir. Can't do 
too much of that. Come on, nice and smooth. Don't worry about who's behind you. Wow, he got on me quick there. Palmer is closing in. The gap is now 0 0.33. Slow in, fast out. Keep the inside line covered. Screwed the pooch in there. Uh oh. He went off. He's pushing.
got a little twitchy again there. It's where he thinks he's faster than I am, I'm betting. So he's trying to capitalize on it. Of course, I can't go throwing shit like that away. And he's right back in me again. One little mistake. Okay, Chip, hold your nerve, just keep it smooth, no mistakes. Oh, David, no! Ten minutes to go, that's ten minutes left. Good stuff, mate, this is fucking excellent. I gave him room there, but we'll look at it after. That was unfortunate. We'll look at that after, and uh, depending upon how things finish up, I'll give him a position back to him. Uh, in points, although Matt's already passed him. Shoot. I think it was clean, though. You're now in the lead. Sector 2 is 0 0.7 off the pace. Seconds. Sector one time's okay. It's not a place you want to go too wide, though. So. Sector three times quick. You're two tenths off the pace in sector one. You've got ten minutes of fuel remaining.
Come on, Chip. Just five minutes left. Hold your nerve. We can win this. <laughs> the actor Palmer behind is now 12 seconds. Palmer got mad. That's good. Sector 3 is 0 0.31 off the pace. That's two minutes left, two minutes. Estimate you've got five minutes of fuel remaining. One lap. Come on, Chip. One more lap. Keep it together. We'll win this. Sector three is 0 0.25 off the pace.
Woohoo! You won! Fantastic drive! And were it not for that contact with David, I would have had a zero incident race. Don't get the bonus points for almost. Look out for the pit speed limit. Pit lane speed limit is 31 miles per hour. 300 feet. 100 feet. Well, that'll be fun to look in uh, Good race, the after play. And David. Thank you, Volker. Thank you. Wow, that was certainly a nail biter. Um, ended well for me, I guess. Um, I uh, um, that that was that was a tremendously fun race. So much action, um, a lot of fun. Um, David Palmer, uh, really fast race car driver, simulated or not, um, <laughs> he, he's he's a fast driver. Um, and it was a pleasure to race against him tonight. It was just unfortunate on lot twenty one there. Um, that uh, um, uh, he was trying to take back the lead um, that I had gotten in the pit stop. And uh, um, we had what I, what I think we agreed. I, I, th I think that's where we left it, is that we agreed that it was a 50-50 deal, 50-50 incident. Um, I, he, I was on the outside of uh, the, the turn seven coming off of that long straight, and he was on the inside. Hadn't overtaken me yet, didn't have a, a, a full full nose uh, 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 up past my bumper yet. And um, I squeezed him a little. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely, in looking at the replay, I will admit that there was a little bit of squeezing, but I certainly left him plenty of room. But neither one of us was inclined to let off the gas at that point, and uh, um, we made contact. Um, unfortunate, um, it, that was the only um, four incident points of the entire race for me. I had a clean zero incident race up until that contact. So a little bummed that I didn't get that bonus point um, to try to gain a little bit of additional ground. But um, given the fact that uh, the contact was enough to cause him to spin out, I definitely was the more fortunate of the two of us. Um, and uh, um, I'm really happy um, more than anything that um, he was able to reclaim second uh, from Matt um, after that incident, so he didn't actually lose a position outright. He just didn't get get the the, the first place from me. Um, so that that was actually really quite good. So the end results, um, the way it actually rolled out here um, is that um, uh, I got pole position um, and I got the fastest lap of the race. So I got two bonus points out of three possible that I could have. If I got in the zero incident race, I would have had the trifecta there. Um, so got 62 points out of the race, which is pretty, pretty awesome um, as that it helped me to gain a little bit of ground on David. Uh, David coming into this race was a full 10 points ahead of me in this series, um, and now he is only seven points. So um, that's that's awesome. Um, uh, he's still within my reach. Uh, if I have another couple of good races, um, still definitely have an opportunity to um, make it rough for him. I, I, I still, I expect he is a fast, fast driver, um, and performed top notch tonight. In fact, he was faster than I was on track, I think. 
um, for most of the race. Um, despite me getting the fastest lap of the race, I think uh, on pace, if he had not spun, his average lap uh, time probably would have been faster than mine. Um, but all in all, um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this. Um, it's definitely solidified my position in second place, at least, and uh, gave, given me at least a, a, a continuing shot at, uh, at winning the series um, if, if things continue to fall my way. So that's all good. Um, the one point of pride, I, I'm reluctant to even say this, but I, I am really proud of it um, because I, I was looking through the lap times uh, tonight. My lap time, my fastest lap time of 124.172 was not just the fastest of the sport series. So if we actually look at the results from Challenge, um, it was faster than the fastest lap in Challenge. It was faster than the fastest lap in club, and it was faster than the fastest lap set by Jim Huth in the Pro Series. That never, ever has happened before, um, for me at least, um, and uh, so I'm, I'm actually, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty happy about that. I'm gonna give uh, Jim a little, uh, little ration of, 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 uh, of the business, if you will, um, just to kind of, I, it's faster than him. Now his average lap pace, um, he was a, a full tenth and a half average lap pace faster than I was, but a tenth and a half of a second. Uh, average lap pace is not all that much. So I'm actually, I'm really, really happy um, in terms of that outcome. Um, just because, you know, I, I have spent a lot of time um, watching um, Jim on track, um, listening to his EVEs, uh, same with Rodney, um, Rodney Campbell, um, and, um, you know, talking with these guys and working with these guys and learning tons from these drivers. So to finally have a race where um, I actually um, performed to the degree that um, I really feel um, shines back on them a little bit. So um, I'm pretty happy about that. So um, again, thank you guys for all the support you've given me. Um, this sort of uh, thing um, wouldn't be possible um, without that sort of mentorship in the PCA Sim Racing. And um, I'm very, very, very happy to be able to say that I, you know, have this accomplishment tonight um, and uh, performed performed fairly well. But it's it's on the shoulders of of people that have been doing this a lot longer than I have and uh, are are quite gifted and talented uh, in their own right. Um, so anyway, um, that's it for tonight. So next week we are at Montreal. Um, that's a, a different sort of track. It's a it's a difficult track. Um, it's one I think a lot of drivers uh, in PCA Sim Racing are quite familiar with. I am not. I have actually, I've never raced on this track. So I've got a, a little bit of work cut out for me over the next week to get up to speed um, and uh, really see if I can um, uh, pull something together to be performant uh, at Montreal next next Friday. And then, of course, the week after that, we are on the Oval at Indianapolis, which is going to just be so much fun. Um, I, I am looking forward to the Oval race. Um, I, um, I'm actually, I'm, I'm hoping, I, I'm going to discuss this with some other, other folks, but I am really seriously hoping that we do a combined class race, maybe put everybody on track all at the same time for that uh, end of series race. Um, I don't know how well received that would be up and down the the classes and and uh, the lineup. But um, if you think that that would be a cool thing and would you would be interested in seeing that happen, post a comment um, and uh, we can kind of uh, do a little consensus. Or if you're on Discord and and want to just sort of uh, ping me uh, or ping Rodney Campbell um, and uh, we can maybe see what consensus is in terms of what people want to do. So anyway, thank you for joining. Uh, if you did like this video, please click on like. And if you um, want to know when I publish new videos, uh, either for this series or for the Fanatec GT3 series um, that I'm doing on iRacing Official, go ahead and subscribe and get notified of the new videos when I release them. Take care. Spaß machen Rennsport.